Hello there, I'm Black Right News and I broadcast from the United Kingdom into your homes. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, you're welcome to like, put the thumbs down if you don't like what I talk about, you can share and you can interact with my subscribers. Returning subscribers, thank you for your support, for your loyalty, for your comments, your emails. And yes, I just want to get into this video because I got sent this video. It's of goats who are dying or who have died on a goat farm in India. Now, how do I draw that conclusion when the language is indiscernible or indecipherable? I have a colleague um, who is Indian and I sent it to her and asked her to translate. First, I asked her if it, whether or not it was taken in India and she confirmed it was. And then she said, um, it was goats who had a virus. Now, since then, I thought, well, let me just see if there's anything written up on it. And there is a article, I'll put the link below, which they're not admitting to this being the case. Um, they're saying it's false, they, do, they will not acknowledge it, and they're saying they don't know where this market is. But apparently it is a goat farm and it is in India, and I guess it's going to affect their business if they acknowledge it, and it's going to cause a lot of problems, economic problems, if it gets out and if it's true. On my part, I'm doing my part for my British people then, who love them quarry mutton and love them quarry goat on a Sunday. All right, so all I'm saying is watch the video, make your own deduction, and before nipping off to your little local Asian shop, mine. <laughs> And the goats are groaning. Now my point is, is that you can't make that up. You cannot contrive that video. Those goats are not in a good way. And it is in India. So regardless of who is disputing it, unless they can come up with an explanation as to why this goat farm has got goats in it that cannot stand up because of some disease they've suddenly inherited, well, that's not for me to say. All I'm saying is that I need to protect my people then who, who might want to make, who might be thinking about nipping off to the local shop and may not know about this. Now, we do not know what they're doing with those animals. This was the link below, I'm going to put below, which I've told you they're alleging that it's false. But the link below is dated February 2020. So it's recent. They did have something like this in 2018 and earlier. But this is quite a recent video. So, um, like I said, it's up to you. You can make your own deduction if you want to waive it. But you never know. When people don't want to make a loss, they can try to preserve meat. We've seen them do it in those Chinese videos. They can preserve meat to make it look pretty. They can do put all kind of dyes and make it look fresh and make it look pretty. And they can package it in a way that is looks presentable. And you're going to think, wow, what a lovely piece of meat. That is how you would think. So we have to be very, really, really vigilant and careful. So that's why I'm sharing this. There is a shop on um, Dunstable High Road, I think it's High Road North, it's run by a British Jamaican. I actually know him from school, not that I'm promoting his shop, but I'm just saying, he gets his goat meat from Brazil, and it's packaged and it's frozen, and at least you know it's not coming from 
a country that is not acknowledging what is which seems pretty obvious it's not like well i guess they could try and make it up and i mean photoshop and all these um magnificent technology can create something like that but that video looks too convincing to me and you'll actually see the video in the link so even though the one i've shown you is not clear you'll be able to see it in the link so no more curry goat for you now i don't know if you want to try ox teal you might want to try that or be safer with chicken for now i'm not to say anyway one more video showing the Jamaican entrepreneurial spirit. Remember, face masks are not foolproof. They cannot um, reflect or deflect airborne viruses. But this little lady in Spanish town is having her day. 300, pound, 300 Jamaican dollars ago. Here we are. People, we're back to the right now. We have to do a whole video for the lady right now. The lady at the right now. I don't care how I see you. I don't want to say you're people. She has sell the mask. She has sell everything. She has sell hand sanitizer right now. I don't. That is, she's not going to eat. She's selling everything. Look at the face mask. You know that little one. I'm here right now. 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 And everybody, she just Your stopped here like a two minutes ago. And since she stopped mind. here, people are literally crowding around the box. This is the mood inside of the show right now, people. People literally trying to prepare them best right now for the coronavirus. It is a good scene because Jamaican taking hands and hands right now, people. It's a sad day in Jamaica, but nevertheless, people are taking hand and hand right now. I don't think the price will matter right here right now. So it doesn't matter what price you put on these right here right now, people. It will be sold out in a couple of minutes from now, people. It will be sold out. Some of them, the liquid one is going to cost you 150 Jamaican dollars and the one that she's made is going to cost you 300 Jamaican dollars. But like I said, um, peeps, the best thing to do is to try and be healthy. And I've got a brother who tells you just how to do that. All right, time for build up the immune system and get a boost. See your lime, yeah? See your lemon, yeah? And ginger. Lime, lemon, and ginger. Yeah, man. Boiling it. Go and boil them up now. Lime, lemon, and ginger. And boost up the system. Now you throw some honey upon that. And you put some honey in it. Go and throw a little white rum upon it. Up. And a little white rum. And boost my immune system. No corona now come boy. ya. Let me tell you. So, like I said, um... Healthy eating, i.e. nutrition, exercise, sleep, and they recommend sunlight. But for those of us who do not have the privilege or the luxury of sunlight, remember your vitamin D and also zinc for the elderly, whatever you deem elderly to be. So, yeah, so I just wanted to let you know that it's basic hygiene because even when you put on the masks, you're touching your face. And apparently it's the touching of the face that is causing the infection. So if you have to put that mask on and you're touching your face and you haven't done the basic hand, hand hygiene, what do you think is going to happen? So remember, washing your hand is a three minute process. That's what I was taught in my hand washing class and it is about going in between the fingers and on top of the fingers and in like this between your um are your two thumbs and like that on top i have shown you this in a different video but it's supposed to take three minutes and you know not no not no little poof poof two second thing where you just and you're gone and i say oh you have to be vigilant in your cleanliness. This should be natural. We shouldn't even be told to be clean, to have basic hygiene. But some of us get lax, we get lazy, and we just do what we have to do as quickly as possible. So this is just about reinforcing um, the program and making sure you look after yourself. And that's all I've got to say for now. Bye-bye.